Hi, today I want to show you how to use getopt. So getopt is a way to parse command line options and arguments. You can use getopt in C or in a bash script. I will focus on C in today's video. And the cool thing, getopt is POSIX compliant. So you can use it on any POSIX compatible operating system. So how, do, how does a POSIX like command line option argument looks like? Well, I will give you an example. Therefore, I will use LSPCI. And I'm passing some options and arguments to it. So after the minus, we have, we, or this here is the option. The minus S is an option. And the, the option S has an additional argument. The argument is the string after the option. But some options doesn't need any arguments, like minus V, for example. Here we don't need an additional argument. And today I want to show you how you can pass these options and their arguments in a C application. Therefore, I will implement a small creator application, which can create me. So yeah, let's create a C file and I'll call it creator.c. First, I need to include some headers. So I will need standard io.h and standard lib.h. And for using getopt, I need to include the Unix standard unistd.h. And the first thing I will implement is I will implement a function which will print the usage of my program. This function takes one argument, which is basically the name of yeah, the application. Okay, so printf, I will print out the usage of my program. So I want to have a minus n option behind which I can pass in the name. And if I'm using this option, the name name will be greeted. Then I want to have a minus r option, which will give me how often someone should be greeted. Then I want to have a minus v option for printing out the version and a minus h option for printing out a small help menu or a small help text. Okay, so let's write a small help text for each argument. Reads name by name. Or repeat. Reads repeat times okay print out the version and nine ah, and h shows this help Okay, so that's it. And now I will implement my main function. So as I want to pass arguments to my main function, I need um, to give it an integer with the argument count. And um, the second argument is an array of strings which contains the arguments I have passed to this function here. Okay, and let's use the Linux kernel, um, a kernel coding guidelines here. Okay. So here I will create two integers. One opt is for the current option and R will be the number of times I want to greet. Then the second one is a pointer which will contain the name which I should greet. And I guess that should be it. So now let's pause the arguments. And we will do this in a while loop. So we will use the getopt um, function and the getopt function needs the following arguments. The first argument is the number of, um, of uh, arguments which were passed to my program. This is argc. The second one is our array of arguments and options, which is argv. 
And then here in a string, we can specify for which options we want to pass. And when get opt return minus one, we've passed all the arguments. Okay. So now I want to support the option n and n needs an additional argument. So for an argument, I have to type double point. Then I want to support the option r and r needs an argument. So I have to type a double point here. Then I want to um, support the option v and h, but both doesn't have any arguments. So there is no double point here. <clears throat> and in case the parsing was successful or it found one of these options here, the option is stored in the opt variable. So what I can do now is I will do a switch case here and I will switch depending on the state of opt. So in case it's n, I will set the name to the argument of the option n and the way I'm getting the argument is by opt arg, which is a global variable. And then I will break from my switch case. In case um, my option is r, Okay, I will set the r variable to the argument which was passed here, but as this argument is a string, I have to convert it to an integer, and I can do this with the etoy function. Okay, etoy is not the best function to do this, but for my program it's okay. And once again here, the argument of the r option is stored in this opt arg argument. Okay, in case um, the option is v, I will print out the version, which is 0.0, .0 here. And then I will quit my program. And in case the option is um, H or anything else, I will print the usage of my program and I will pass the first argument, which is always the path and the file name of my program. And then I will return with zero. Okay, so that's basically how to pass the arguments. So now everything which is left for us is implementing the greeter. And this will be very simple. So I will, um, I will, as long as r is bigger than zero, I will do the following. I will print f hello and an optional string here. And this string in case name is not a null pointer, I want this string here to be name, else it's just an empty string. Yeah, and that should be it basically. Only thing I forgot is the comma here. Okay, cool. So let me try to compile and run this small program. Yeah, this, this comma here is bad. Sorry for this. Okay. But now it should work. Yes. And if I just execute the program without any options, it will just print out hello. If I'm giving it the n option without any arguments, it will tell me the option requires an argument and it will print out the help, which is in my default case. Okay, so let's give it the name Johannes, which is my name. Then it will print out hello Johannes. With minus r, I can repeat the greeting process multiple times. Um, minus v will give me the version of my program. And minus h will give me a small help menu. And if I'm passing an option which is not supported, let's say x for example, it will tell me x is an invalid option. It will jump into this default case of my switch case. It will print out the usage and then exit. Okay, cool. So that's how to use get opt in a C program to parse options and arguments from the command line. So I guess that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee, buy me a coffee.com slash for Linux. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.